Hello and welcome back to this video series. Today we will revisit the degrees of freedom and categorize them as in plane degrees of freedom and out of plane degrees of freedom. But before we do that, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel if you are new and join us in this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with StatPro. Now there are six degrees of freedom, three translational degrees of freedom and three rotational degrees of freedom. Delta X, Delta Y and Delta Z are called the translational degrees of freedom while Theta X, Theta Y and Theta Z are called the rotational degrees of freedom. Instead, all degrees of freedom in the XY plane are called the in-plane degrees of freedom. However, in general, any degrees of freedom that falls in a plane should be called the in-plane degrees of freedom with respect to that plane. However, instead, all the degrees of freedom in the xy plane or the degrees of freedom that can be defined in the xy plane are called the in-plane degrees of freedom. So if you have to define a structure in one single plane in Star Pro, that has to be in the xy plane. And this is the reason why all the degrees of freedom in the xy plane are called in-plane degrees of freedom and the rest are called the out-of-plane degrees of freedom. To restate, in stat, uh, in plane degrees of freedom and out of plane degrees of freedom are with respect to the xy plane only. Now let us see what are the in plane degrees of freedom and out of plane degrees of freedom in stat. Now let us consider this board to be the xy plane. That is, the z axis would be pointing out of the screen, out of the board towards you. Now, all the degrees of freedom that I can conveniently draw on this board would be the in-plane degrees of freedom. And the degrees of freedom that I cannot draw on this board would be the out-of-plane degrees of freedom. Now, let us consider the first translational degree of freedom, that is delta x. And you can see that I can draw it easily on the board. So, it's an in-plane degree of freedom. Let us consider the second translational degree of freedom, delta y. And again you will see that I can draw this easily on this board. So this too is an in-plane degree of freedom. But how about the translational degree of freedom along the z-axis? Well, I have to draw it like this. Now, this is something that I cannot draw on the board. That means that this degree of freedom is not in this plane and thus it's an out of plane degrees degree of freedom. Now let us think about the rotational degrees of freedom. Consider the rotation uh, about the x-axis and this is something that I cannot draw on this plane. So theta x, the rotational degree of freedom about the x-axis is an out of plane degree of freedom. Think about the rotation about the y-axis. Well, I cannot draw it either on the board. And thus, this is also an out-of-plane degree of freedom. But the rotation about theta z is something, the rotation theta z, that is, the rotation about the z-axis is something that I can easily draw on this board. So, theta z, this rotational degree of freedom is an in-plane degree of freedom. So, what are the in-plane degrees of freedom? The in-plane degrees of freedom are delta x, delta y, and theta z. And what are the out-of-plane degrees of freedom? It would be theta z. Sorry, it would be delta z, theta x, and theta y. The concept of in-plane and out-of-plane degrees of freedom are very important, and we would see how this concept would be used to fundamentally define a STAD model. Uh, in our next video. If you have liked this video, please hit the like button and press the bell icon for more notifications from this channel.
If you have a question, please type that in the comment sections below. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.